Hi and welcome to this week's weekly tech pick. I'm Scott Kinkoff and I'm here to show you a new technology that I like to use. Well, it's not really new, but I like to use it. It's called TAC. TAC is a way of making stories, of sharing digital storytelling. What's really nice about TAC is, is that there's a variety of ways to use it. So let's just start out by exploring kind of what everything looks like. If you scroll down, from the top you'll notice that you have a title. You'll also notice that uh, you can move things around. So all of, the, um, all of the sections can be dragged and dropped in different locations. Here is just an example of adding a picture, which you can search 500 pics to get your pictures, more text, uh, more text. And then down below, once your tag is finished, if you're sharing out to Facebook, um, once you push it out to other people to see, they get a chance to add comments if they choose. But let's see what TAC can really do. So if we go up to Create, we can see that scrolling down through TAC, there's a variety of ways to use this from class assignments to events, college, blog posts, small businesses. You can see that there's a variety of ways and applications to use TAC, which is really cool because you can use this to um, really engage your students and or communicate with parents and the community in a variety of ways. TAC is free, so you can see over here that um, I, my account is um, free. There's nothing that I had to pay for to sign up. If we click on the um, pencil over here, which is to edit, we can start by choosing uh, color palettes. And if you scroll down, you can see that there are, I don't know, 20 or more, 30 or more different color palettes to choose from. So you can really get a chance to customize your look. If we click on squares, you can also choose different palettes this way as well. Right now we're in the gray palette. If I were to choose green, it changes my background um, to green. There are fonts. There are different kinds of fonts, not an overwhelming amount, but enough to um, make your tack look nice. Patterns are the patterns you add to the background. So um, by choosing different um, backgrounds, I can change the look, the feel, the mood of my tack. Over here are the options. I can choose between public and private. I can upload a background. I can round the corners of my tack. I can choose to have comments on or not and even generate a custom URL for this tack. When all is said and done, when I'm ready to share, then I can, I would have to click the button down here, but you can see that I can push out to Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, LinkedIn, Tumblr, a variety of ways. There's also the app, uh, opportunity to embed it, so you can put this in your website so this might become part of your daily communications or weekly communications or a newsletter that you send out to parents or to your school or to your district. So TAC can really be used in a variety of ways. So what does it look like when we share, when we start to actually build a TAC? Well, let's go back to the color palette and um, I'm a fan of green so I'm going to choose pistachio. It's simply, I click in the area where I want to type, and I type, and this is TAC. And t again, type again. You'll notice that the, the titles and the subtitles have different colors. If I, anything I want to change, for instance, I want to change the color of this title, I can choose uh, from four options based on my color palette. I can do the same in the subtitle, change it as I choose. I can also choose to change the size of the from small, medium, large um, as my choices. I can align differently as I, as I choose. Um, and then, of course, if I don't want it, then I can delete it. So let's click on the big plus sign here. And let's search for... Uh, let's, let's just search for students. So it's going to go out to 500 pics and we're going to see a variety of pictures that we can use in, in TAC. Um, I am going to choose um, this first one here. 
and it puts it in there for me. If this is what I want, you'll also notice that it does all the attributions for you. So you don't have to worry about going out to 500 picks to attribute it. I can add a link if I choose, if I, um, if I want to send somebody somewhere, um, even open it in a new tab. When I'm finished with the picture, if I like it, I click done. Um, down here, again, I have more text, but I don't want that text. I want to put in something um, different. So I'm going to remove these items. And then what's really neat is what TAC can do um, with this little addition sign. So I can add headlines and text, photos, videos, audio, buttons, maps, money to monetize and form. So I can really start to create some really powerful communications not only for my students but for parents for the school in ways that I wasn't able to do that before um, if I want to choose photo I can make a collage so one idea students could make a photo collage of different cultures uh, videos if I want to can be added you'll notice from YouTube Vine or Instagram so I can bring in those URLs and upload them to Tack and that becomes part of the learning experience. You delete that quick. Um, other things, for instance, I want to gather information about my students. I can put in my name, uh, my message. They would, they would put this in. They would put in their name, their email, and then their message, and then they could email me. Other options include. Um, if you want to add buttons so we're going to edit the button here um, and then a link so now we can start sending students off to different resources this could be resources to video it could be resources to um, different uh, learning sites where they can get new content the point of it is, is that TAC really allows you to have a very great looking way of integrating technology and content into classes um, where you to engage students in deeper ways it's also different that kids see something very well made that's not boring like a textbook so you could even literally use tack to create your own textbooks so let's go on and take a look what it looks like when we want to finish and share when I click the finish and share button in the bottom right hand corner um, it's going to um, assign it a its own unique URL and then from here I can choose where I want to push it so let's say I am uh, I want to do some PR for my school I can push it out to Twitter through my through the school Twitter handle or the district Twitter, Twitter handle um, I want to push this out to Pinterest because I want to create original content for students to see because I'm using Pinterest as a way of curating content. Uh, LinkedIn might be for professional uh, development purposes. There, again, there are lots of ways to use TAC. Um, I personally like it because I want to embed certain content in my website. And let's say, for instance, if this is a if this is a digital textbook in a, in, a, in a sorts. Then I want to embed this into my website so students can find it. So this is TAC and have fun creating.